Jesus Christ. I got, what did I get, seven? Seven, yeah. Last week I got six. Not bad. Oh. What weight's in it? 75 kilos. <laughs> How does that feel? Yeah, easy. I can go heavier. <laughs> oh! <clears throat> one! Two! Come on! Yay! <clears throat> and again, last three, come on! <clears throat> and again, two more! Come on! Up! <clears throat> last one, John, come on! Up, 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 up! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Fuck, <clears throat> oh, Big man thing. Unreal man, unreal, fucking buzzing. So you have a photo shoot, same day? Yeah, same day, can't wait. Feeling absolutely de depleted now at this stage, like, but so excited to get it done now. Um, it's been a long time coming, been prepping for a, sh a show there before, like, and yeah, decided to go for a shoot now afterwards, make something out of this prep. So nice. buzzing to go, let's go. Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video, and as you can see, I'm still pretty tan from my photo shoot and probably have a bit more fluff because I've just been eating for the last three days non-stop. But so we're going to go through this workout. It is probably like the best home workout you can do with the least expensive equipment. equipment. Um, so before you say anything, no, you will not be doing any burpees whatsoever in your sitting room. You won't be jumping around. Uh, you won't be doing any jumping jacks, high knees or anything like that um, ever. So if you ever do it with your best influencer on Instagram, make sure you comment and say, the boys from the lab said, no, stop, done. Bumpy, uh, bumpies, <laughs> burpees, jump squats, jump lunges, they put a lot of joint forces through your joints. People don't understand that, that they're probably causing you more harm than good. Those burpees, jump lunges, jump squats didn't build the physiques that those influencers have. Those influencers got those physiques from resistance training, years of training with heavy weights. So that is why we are going to show you this workout to show you what proper effective home training looks like. Or else they were just born with it and really yeah. good at Photoshop. Yeah. Anyway, so all you need for this home workout is basically two cuffs that you can get up on Amazon. They're basically ankle cuffs, just right in gym cuffs. You get them from like 10 to 12 euro. You're gonna need some Caribbean clips and you also need a band. a band. So in this video, Liam and Padre are gonna bring you through two exercises each of chest, shoulders, arms, and legs. Um, what you can do as well, you can add dumbbells or if you have barbells, what the cuffs and bands do to create more resistance and you don't have to buy expensive equipment as gyms are still looking to be closed until June. So sit back, relax, subscribe, and enjoy this video. But I try, try not to need you like you need me. And I try, and I try not to need you like you need me. I'm sick and tired of living in a So guys, just because uh, John and Padgett uh, mentioned, these are carabiner clips. They don't actually come with the cuffs. So you can buy them in any hardware store for like one or two euros. So they're ideal. Flip, flick on that like that, and then you're good to go. So in this exercise we're gonna be doing is the banded chest press. So all you're gonna do is flick on each band, like so. And you're gonna flick around. So wrap it around like a solid support. Then all you're gonna do is slide in the hands either side like so. Again, what you wanna do, get it nice and solid. In this motion here, you wanna be doing, think about elbows together. When you're pressing, nice and strong, up. Drive in, down nice and slow. Up, think about squeezing the elbows together. Bring it back. 
second exercise we're gonna go through is a banded cuff flight. So again, you're attaching the band onto something solid. You're putting that cuff on, trying to get it above the elbow. Again, that's just gonna reduce the joint forces. We're lying back, setting ourselves up as if we were doing a floor press, getting a good bit of tension on that band. Again, thinking of driving that elbow across the midline. Okay, nice slow control rep out driving that elbow across the midline. So again, if you had a dumbbell here, you could add the dumbbell to the hand, just to increase the resistance for driving that elbow across the midline. What we move on to is the banded pull down. Uh, great back exercise. What you want to do, again, we're going to be using the cuffs. If you don't have a rig like this, again, use a door. Literally use a corner of a door, put it in behind the door, close it. But what you want to do is tie it around here. Again, make sure the cuffs are above the elbows. Then we're going to get down in a half mm. kneeling position here. Like here, main thing is focus elbows to hips. That's going to really shorten the lats in this exercise. You're pulling it down, slow on the way up. Again, if you want to get more resistance, move back further. Pull right down, slow on the way up. Again, really trying to shorten the lats as much as you possibly can. Something we're going through is going to be a single arm banded row. So again, we've done the overhead pull down. So now we're looking at challenging our back just at a different angle. Again, we're using the cuff, putting the cuff above that elbow, so you want to shove it up as high as you can. So what we're doing is stepping back here. Again, we want to get a big step down through the lats, set ourselves in a nice neutral position, keeping that chin tucked and not, make sure we're not extending through that lower back. So again, we're driving that elbow back to the hip. Really focusing on getting as much of a contraction to our back as possible. Tempo is absolutely key here. So you can see I haven't double looped it and double looped the band. The longer you can get the band, the better because you have tension throughout the full contractile range, which is absolutely crucial. Because obviously if I stand in close here, I have absolutely no tension at the start of the movement. So we want to make sure you can see there's tension throughout the whole range in this exercise. What we're gonna do is the banded shoulder press. So, just a few quicks on this one again. Would you stand it in here, guys? The band up around the elbows. We're not making sure we're dropping down too far. We just want one or two inches below shoulder height. Again, protecting our shoulders. We want you to have full active range. It's just up. Make sure we're coming on the top. Big squeeze, slow, controlled. Again, we're not coming too deep. Upsetting the glenohumeral joint. We're on up. Slow and eccentric. Press. This one we're going to go through is a side delt exercise. So we're going to go through lying uh, cuff ladder raises. This on the cables is my absolute go to side delt exercise. So now we're going to just show you how to set up with the bands. So, what you're going to do again is anchor the bands down nice and low. Cuffs just around the elbows. Lying back. Again, driving the elbows out to the side. What we're going to do is a banded RDL. What we're going to do is the cuffs just below the elbows. We're going to stand on the band here and here. A few key factors with the RDL is slight chin tuck, drive the hips back, arms up to create as much, ten much tension on the band as possible. Drive the hips back, up, squeeze, slow on the way down. Up. We're going to go through for legs, it's going to be a quad movement, so we're going through front foot elevated split squats with the band. Again, we're putting the cuffs just below the elbow to get as much tension on the band as possible. So what you're gonna do, stand on that band, cuffs just below the elbow. So we're gonna go thinking here to get as much challenge through our quads as possible. We're thinking of driving our knee as far forward over our toes as we can. Nice low control right down and drive up. So tempo is the one thing we have available to us to create as much of a challenge with our home training. So we have to be looking at least three seconds on the way down, pause at the bottom, one, two, three on the way up. Contracting that quad as hard as we can, ensuring we're getting as much challenge through as possible. The exercise we're gonna do is the dual cable bicep curl. So what you're gonna do here is you're just gonna hold on to the two cuffs. You're gonna step out, again, we're gonna lean forward, we wanna get as much uh, length, in, uh, length in the bicep as possible. So you're almost gonna flex the bicep, tricep down at the bottom, we're gonna come up, Make sure our biceps, our hands are staying supinated the whole time. Slow on the way down. A little bit of tricep flexion to make sure our biceps fully linting. Come up, 
squeeze. The one that we are gonna go through is a banded trice extension using the cuffs. The cuffs are absolutely fantastic here because we have something to brace against while we're extending our triceps so we don't have to focus on holding onto the band. So what we're doing again is looping this over the door and um, stepping back, ensuring there's tension already on the band and we're extending outwards, okay? Getting that tricep into its fully shortened position. So you see what a lot of people, they come in and they're just getting a lot of front delt involved. We want to go through the natural path of your arm, which is extending out. I'm gonna stand here now. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna, fucking shredded. I'm gonna dwarf. Right, I'll have I'm to. I'm gonna dwarf patch here now, but I'll tell you. Right, guys, so that is gonna be the most effective home workout you can get with bands. I'm um, trying to keep it as cheap as possible. Obviously, you could spend a lot more money, but again, in these current times, you know, a lot of people are out of work and things like that, so we want wanted to give people a chance to still make training as optimal as possible at home. We are looking forward to people being able to get back into the gyms again. We want to provide as much content, as much value as possible on this channel over the next coming months regarding home training. So we will give you more tips and tricks along the way over the coming months. There's a lot more content coming to this channel. Uh, so from me, Liam and John, thanks very much. Just on the Finish. last... I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the last note, again, we went through a few points. But lads, you need to bring in tempo. You need to bring in execution in these exercises to make it worthwhile. And again, if any, uh, any, any questions, hit the comment box below, guys, and we'll get back to you. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new. And John Fitz, check in the next one. Peace.